Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell you about the digestive system. The digestive system starts from the mouth and ends in the anus. The digestive system is also known as the gastrointestinal tract and it has four functions. Ingestion means to take in the food. Digestion breaking down the food into small molecules mechanical digestion takes place in the mouth and the chemical digestion takes place in the stomach then we have absorption the small intestines absorb all nutrients from the food and distribute it to all body cells then defecation that's also known as excretion to get rid of the waste material. So starting with the mouth, as we all know the names of the teeth, but if you don't, you can watch my video about the anatomy of teeth. So imagine our whole mouth is a big room. In medical terminology, our mouth is also known as the oral cavity. The opening of the oral cavity is the lips. In medical technology, you call lips labia. Then the walls of the oral cavity are the cheeks. The tongue is the floor. And on the tongue, we have some small raised areas known as papillae. And the papillae contains taste buds. Then the roof of the oral cavity is the hard palate and soft palate. On the hard palate, we have some irregular ridges that are known as rugae. Hanging on the soft palate, we have uvula. The uvula is a small projection that helps us with sound and speech. Now coming to our three salivary glands, the largest is parotid. Near our facial bone mandible is some mandibular. And under the tongue, we have sublingual. These salivary glands produce 1.5 liter saliva every day. Now coming to our throat, that's also known as pharynx. The pharynx has two passageways, the nose so air can go in our windpipe, that's trachea, and the mouth so that food can go in the food pipe, that's esophagus. Now, what if the food goes in our windpipe? There's a flap. So food cannot go in our windpipe and that flap is known as epiglottis. Now in the esophagus, there is a rhythmic contraction of muscles that are known as peristalsis. The peristalsis help the bolus, that's the mass of food, go down right to the stomach. Now coming to our stomach, our stomach has a ring of muscles that control the opening and closing of the stomach. And those ring of muscles are known as sphincters. The sphincter muscles that are from the esophagus to the stomach, that opens of food can come in the stomach, are the lower esophageal sphincters. And the sphincters that let the food leave the stomach are the pyloric sphincters. Our stomach is divided into three parts. The upper one is funnels, the middle one is body, and the lower one is antrum. Now there are some folds in the stomach that are known as rugae again, but these rugae produce enzymes. One is pepsin that digests proteins and the other one is hydrocholic acid that fights with bacteria. The rugae increases the surface area for more digestion. Now coming to the small intestines that's also known as small bowel. So the food passes from the stomach to the small intestines from the first part of the small intestines that's duodenum. The duodenum is one foot long. The duodenum receives bile from liver and pancreatic juices from pancreas. I will be telling about pancreas and liver in the next video. So when the 
When all the digestion is done in duodenum, the food will pass to the next part of small intestines that's duodenum. The duodenum is a feet long and the duodenum absorbs all nutrients from the food and sends it to all body cells. So the food will go to the next part of small intestine that, that's ileum. The ileum is 11 feet long and connects to the large intestine. So when all the nutrients are absorbed, the food has now turned into waste. So the waste will go through ileum through a valve known as ileocecal valve and it will go to the first component of large intestines that's cecum. So now coming to large intestines. So the large intestines is also known as large bowel just like the small intestines is known as small bowel. Large bowel has three components. First is cecum that I already told and hanging on cecum we have appendix and the appendix has no use, has no function. The next component of large bowel is colon. The colon is divided into four parts, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon and sigmoid colon. Most of the colon covers up the large intestine, that's large bowel. So the large bowel is also known as colon, colon and large bowel. So the colon still absorb the water from the waste and then the waste will get stored in rectum. So when we feel like to excrete, the anus expands and the waste comes out. So this is all about digestive system. And I hope you liked my video and don't forget to subscribe. And thanks a lot for watching my video.